keep my arms straight and I just sink. And I sink. And I sink. I'm not pushing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'd be surprised when you see that. <laughs> Sinking. And then I can slide and I can control someone from where I can control them. I can grab over here, but that's uncomfortable. I grab over here, and that's like uncomfortable for me. I gotta lean. To that. But if I just reach for the elbow, <coughs> then I got full control to then get to the arms. <coughs> Turn a bit so that I can support the middle back. And I'm not trying to lean him back, right? I'm trying to open the chest. So I'm trying to be able to control the chest forward and pull the arms back as much as I can feel the rubber band allowing me. Then I'll take the elbow straight back. And then I'll do it again. So the principle of movement in Thai is soft, medium, and hard three times. First I discover where the edge of the body is. Mm -hmm. Then I challenge it a little bit more. And then I challenge it even more. <coughs> and that again is a principle you can apply when you're doing work anywhere else, for instance. That's the Thai principle. In Malays, soft, medium, and hard. This is the first edge. I don't let go all the way, I just let go a little bit, and then I find the edge again. I let go a little bit, and I find the edge again. I'm going to keep his hands there. I'm going to support the body, if I can come into an L shape, on my toes. Then I can just drape the body over. Since I know I'm trying to open the chest, then, and then yes, then if you want to create like a stretch to the side even more, you could stabilize. And if you're going to just move away, if they're flexible, very flexible, I might move out and use my hand to really stretch them, but remember I still want to keep that part of the body opening. I can then rise up. He's moving with me. So if you have a hard time being on your toes, which a lot of us noticed we did, <laughs> which means that we carry tension in our feet, but it's probably evident in our hips and our low back. <laughs> Because of our feet. <laughs> so then because he's here, keep, he's here. I get to be on my toes. <laughs> Thanks for being here. <laughs> I'll be able to stretch my feet out. <laughs> Do you tell them to breathe deeply or just a natural breath? I don't talk to them. <laughs> this is a meditation. Okay. <laughs> yeah. If I breathe, he will breathe. <coughs> if I stop breathing, <laughs> he's going to call the cops. <laughs> okay. I mean, you can talk then if you want to, but technically, that's a, I treat it as a meditation. And so then, I don't need to, and then that's. We'll continue to explore that, but yes, if you are aware of yourself, if you know when you inhale, they will inhale with you. But if you're not aware of when you inhale, then who knows when they're inhaling also. <laughs> <laughs> Press the shoulders away from the ears. Contract the head. Soft, medium, and high. And just circle the neck. And I circle below the temple. Just at the base of the skull, at the base of the cranium. I'm going to just trace my fingers along the skull itself until I'm out. And I just press in the middle of the skull, in the middle of the hairline, and slide out, softening the skin around the forehead and the third eye. And again, sliding out, softening the skin around the forehead, this time in a circle, temple points. In the middle, between the eyebrows. And I just 
relax the ears, grabbing as much of the ear and sliding. I mean, I'll show you my way after this weekend. If you have other tricks here, feel free to use them. I just share some things. It's closing the ears, the eyes, mm. as closing the senses and finishing by turning their world again inside. Mm. Take a second and stay there. Okay. A little bit more. And then I challenge it even more. <coughs> and that again, the principle you can apply when you're doing work anywhere else, for instance. That's the Thai principle. You know, like soft, medium, and hard. This is the first edge. I don't let go all the way, I just let go a little bit, and then I find the edge again. I let go a little bit, and I find the edge again. I'm going to keep his hands there. I'm going to support the body if I can come into an L shape on my toes. Then I can just drape the body over. Since I know I'm trying to open the chest, then, and then yes, then if you want to create like a stretch to the side even more, you could stabilize. And if you're going to just move away, if they're flexible, very flexible, I might move out and use my hand to really stretch them, but remember I still want to keep that part of the body opening. I can then rise up. He's moving with me. <laughs> so if you have a hard time being on your toes, which a lot of us noticed we did, <laughs> which means that we carry tension in our feet, that is probably evident in our hips and our low back, because <laughs> of our feet. <laughs> so then because he's here, keep, he's here, I get to be on my toes. <laughs> Thanks for being here. <laughs> Help me to stretch my feet out. <laughs> <laughs> Keep his legs crossed or release them, it's his choice. And then I depress the shoulders away from the ears. And track the head. It's not medium and high. I just circle the neck. And I circle below the temple just at the base of the skull, at the base of the cranium. And I just trace my fingers along the skull itself until I'm out. And I just press in the middle of the skull, in the middle of the hairline, and slide out, softening the skin around the forehead and the third eye. And again, sliding out, softening the skin around the forehead, and this time in a circle, temple points. In the middle, between the eyebrows, Relax the ears, grabbing as much of the ear and sliding. I mean, I'll show you my way after this weekend. If you have other tricks here, feel free to use them. I just share some things. It's closing the ears, the eyes, mm. as closing the senses and finishing by turning their world again inside.